It's a pretty unpleasant scene. We've been today about 70 kilometers uh, outside of Shanghai to the upper reaches of the Huangpu River, which is the, the big river that flows through, through the city center in Shanghai. Uh, and since last Thursday, locals have been finding uh, large numbers of dead pigs floating in their waters, a death toll. This evening is about 3,300. Uh, and at one particular creek, we found um, about six, six different clean-up teams on barges. There's dozens of men using bamboo to pull these animals out of the water. I would say I saw probably 50 or 60 dead pigs uh, and, and men trying to remove them. Lots of them were sort of uh, very heavily decomposed. So there was a real sort of stench about the river. Nobody seems to know why they've died or how they got there. Um, but, but they are in part of the Huangpu River, which reportedly provides drinking water to, to parts of the city. So uh, it's certainly of some concern to authorities. And they've been saying that they, they have tested for things like foot and mouth, swine fever, hog cholera, uh, and other disease, and they found no trace of that. But it, this, this, uh, the area where many of the pigs are coming out of the river is close to a water treatment plant. So that I think that there is a sort of nervousness um, about whether, whether or not there is any risk to the population. I think, I think China has a very big problem in terms of its water, keeping its waterways clean and, and water pollution, and the Chinese government is very aware of this. I mean, last year, one of the biggest officials in charge of, of, of Chinese rivers admitted that 20% of Chinese rivers were now absolutely toxic to, to, to human touch, you know, and something like 40% uh, were, were severely polluted. So they know there, there is a big problem, which is largely to do with the last 30 years of rapid economic growth without too much in the way of environmental protection.